Today, I'd love to show you how to collect seeds from these smooth blue asters. Regardless of which flower it is in the aster family, it's the ideal time to collect seeds so you can spread in your flower beds, share with friends, or even overwinter and start in a greenhouse so you have plants for the spring. So this smooth blue aster, wow, I mean, I planted one plant last year and I have multiples. So if you truly do need to collect seeds, that's great, but it's also a great self seeder. I just wanna pull off one of these and give you an idea. Let me just pull this apart. Just to give you an idea of how many seeds you're gonna have in one seed head of this smooth blue aster. So you can see one of these seed heads has all of these seeds in it. And there are thousands of seed heads here on my smooth blue asters. And one of the collection methods I use are just uh, little brown envelopes that you can literally just put the seeds into. As you can see, some of these seed heads on this smooth blue aster are a little further along. You can also collect them in this state. You just have to be careful on a windy day. And I would also caution against using a bag to store them in as they'll stick to it. I would use this brown envelope. Just write the name of the plant and the date on it. Hopefully you can see how easy it is to collect seeds from the smooth blue aster or any flowers in the aster family. If you're interested in doing this, just check the comments section because I do have information on stratifying the seeds so that you have success next spring. I'm Patrick, let's go native.